here flow control in the sense this is the only straight away problem is that we have the source and destination we have source is sending the data very fastly but the destination is not able to receive the data in the same fast in the same speed he is not able to receive the data means he is not able to process that data in the same speed <coughs> this is actually fast sender slow receiver problem here if you observe suppose source is sending the 10 packets per second assume that destination is receiving 5 packets per second here 5 packets per the per second means it is processing only 5 packets per second and assume it have some buffer to store the all the packets then its buffer capacity assume 20 packets maximum capacity so in the first second it will send 10 packets so among the 10 packets destination will process 5 packets then remaining 5 packets it will keep inside the buffer then in the second second it will send 10 more packets then whenever this 10 packets is re reached here it will in the next second in the second second it will take the remaining 5 pack 5 packets which are sent earlier in the first second then it will process in that second then whatever packets came now those will be buffer in that buffer then in the third second it will send 10 more packets here what will happen is in the third second it will take the five packets from this 10 packets so five packets are remaining then these 10 packets will be buffered in this buffer same here 10 packets it will send it will take this five packets to process then this 10 packets will be here and this 10 packets stored here till now there is no problem now <coughs> in the 50 second it will send 10 more packets here if you see it will take 5 packets from here then 10 packets is here now you send the 10 packets you will store 5 packets only then the remaining 5 packets it will be simply discarded so after certain amount of time whatever packets is sending by the source all packets is going to be discarded because of not because of space is not there in the buffer so this is the actual the problem it is sending the packets very fastly 10 packets per second but uh, destination is not able to receive that many packets it is not able to match with the source so this is actually the problem fast sender slow receiver problem so for this problem solution is we have the sliding window protocol technique sliding window protocol is the solution for this fast sender and slow receiver problem so it will control the flow so how it is controlling we will see detail when we go for this chapter swp in the swp we have the three techniques once again one is stop and wait first uh, technique is stop and wait then second one is go back and then next one is selective repeat protocol so this is the solution for 
Sliding window protocol will give the solution for this flow control problem. Flow problem.